Hi everybody, it's Tim with Engadget, and this is the new BlackBerry Z10. It's the first phone running BlackBerry OS 10. We wanted to give you an overview of both the hardware and the software, but we'll start with the hardware. It's a 4.2 inch device with a 1280 by 768 LCD up front, so a very high pixel density, and also a good quality contrast and color reproduction as well. Overall, it's a nice looking display. Walking around, we've got a three-way volume rocker on the right, so that gives you volume up and down, plus a discrete button in the middle for play pause. On the top, there's a lock button, plus the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And moving around to the other side is a micro USB plus a micro HDMI output. And then as we go to the back, you can see the back plate is removable with a replaceable battery inside 1800 milliampere hours. Give us about eight hours on our standard battery rundown test. The 16 gigs of internal storage is augmented by a micro SD slot that supports up to 32 gigabyte cards, and there's a micro SIM slot in here as well. There are multiple ways to unlock the Z10. You can use the power lock toggle button up top, or you can simply swipe a thumb up from the bottom of the display. This is a key gesture taking you home from any application as well. You can see the applications in BlackBerry OS 10 are a grid of icons, as you might expect. You can drag and drop them around or drag one on top of the other to create a folder. We'll take a look at the browser here. As you can see, pages load very quickly. Now, as we go ahead and click over to a more complicated web page, we would like to point out that this browser does support Flash, making it one of the few mobile platforms that still does. However, premium video sites like Netflix have blocked this device, meaning you will not be able to get your Netflix streaming through the browser here on the BlackBerry Z10. But now this more complicated page, as you can see, loads very quickly indeed. Pinched zooming is quite responsive. And hopping out of the application, you can see just from a swipe up from below. This interface shows you all the running applications. You can keep up to eight running, and then you can quickly toggle between them by tapping on them. And then closing an application is just a matter of tapping on the X in the lower right. Now this gesture is called peaking. It's one of the most talked about features of BlackBerry 10, and indeed one of the more powerful features here. Drag your thumb up slowly and you'll see an array of icons showing you your number of emails, text messages, BBMs, and things like that. Asterisks will indicate if there are any unread that you need to take a look at. But drag your thumb up and to the right and you get dropped into the BlackBerry Hub. This is basically the all-conquering communication portal for the operating system. All of your emails, tweets, BBMs, text messages, and Facebook messages, and even LinkedIn messages will all get dumped here into one big mess. At least it turns into a mess quickly if you get as many messages as we tend to. But thankfully you can very quickly and easily filter this by email or by tweet or by text message. Swipe down from the top and you'll see a list of any upcoming calendar events. If indeed there's a conference bridge, you can just tap on the event and it will quickly dial you into that bridge, which is great. Or there's also a dedicated calendar app that you can go to if you want to get more information about other upcoming events. BlackBerry World is the portal for premium content on the phone, including apps, music, and movies. It'll by default give you a list of popular apps in the moment, and as you can see, there's not a lot in here of any note. But RIM promises us that in the very near future, there will be a lot of more premium apps, good content from Delta and other manufacturers that you would expect to find in any sort of premium app market. You can also tap on any app to get a list of screenshots to see how it looks and get some reviews to see what other people think of it as well. Music and movies are also found in here and pricing is on par with what we see in the Amazon App Store and Google Play Market and other places like that. Television show episodes range between a buck and two bucks typically. Movie rentals are usually between two and five dollars and purchases, well those are all over the place. Now the new keyboard in BlackBerry 10 is another feature that a lot of people have been talking about and it is indeed very good. As you can see the keyboard layout is very roomy and comfortable which makes typing easy by default but it's got the neat trick of predictive text which pops up above the next key. So as you're typing words will appear above the key and to select that word you simply swipe up from that key. Now it's not quite as quick and easy as you might think. It actually takes a little bit of brain power to look down and to be looking over all these keys and scanning to see which is the next word that you want. But ultimately, once you get the hang of it, you can type very quickly indeed. The overall experience is a lot like SwiftKey on Android, and we think we still like SwiftKey just a bit better because it's easier to just hit the space bar for the next word rather than having to go find it above the letters. But both are very close indeed and both offer very good typing experiences. In fact, we would say that the BlackBerry 10 keyboard is the best stock keyboard on the market right now. Camera performance on the Z10 is good but not great, and we found the interface to be a little bit clumsy at times. Now you tap anywhere to take a picture, but if you want to focus, you need to manually drag the reticle onto the point where you want to focus, and then wait for the camera to adjust. In fact, we found that sometimes if we tapped the picture too quickly, the camera would actually take it before it was done focusing, resulting in a very soft image. 
Once pictures are taken, you can go in and provide some filters, very much like Instagram in a lot of ways. But we should note that as of now, Instagram is still not available on BlackBerry 10. There's also a feature called Time Shift here, which allows you to take a group shot and then tap on each face and individually select the frame, which is perfect for them. The problem is it didn't always detect faces. In fact, three out of four times it didn't detect my face at all, which meant for me anyway, this is not the best feature. BlackBerry 10 includes a new Maps application that is overall quite poor. It doesn't come anywhere near comparing to Google Maps or to Nokia Maps on Windows Phone 8 or even to the latest Apple Maps in iOS 6. Functionality is very limited. You're limited to an overhead view with traffic and nothing else. You cannot get a quick view of local points of interest. There is voice-based turn-by-turn navigation, but we found it to be very flaky. And indeed, you can't pinch zoom while you're getting navigation as well to get a view of what's upcoming. If it looks like VZ Navigator overall, that's because it's actually done by the same development team. And the functionality here is very similarly limited to what's found in VZ Navigator. Ultimately, we'd say Maps is probably the most half-baked feature of the operating system. And that's very disappointing given the importance of navigation these days. It absolutely pales in comparison to what's available on Android, iOS, or Windows Phone right now. Now, as we do this review, the app selection in BlackBerry 10 is a little bit limited. The default apps, though, many of which are very good, a lot of them were done by the Astonishing Tribe, and they have a very sort of distinctive look to them. The Compass app is quite good, and the Calculator app, which is similar to what was in the playbook, is also quite good. But as we were going through BlackBerry World looking for other apps to check out, we found a lot that were absolutely terrible. And there are, of course, plenty of terrible apps in every app store, but these were actually being recommended to us and were bubbling up as some of the top 10 downloadable apps as well. This one called Laying Scanner is actually trying to tell if you're lying, but the developer apparently mistyped it and published it anyway, and it is available for download now. It scans your finger to tell if you are a liar. As far as we can tell, it's completely random. This interval training app was probably developed for the playbook, but now here on the Z10, it's also available. It's basically unusable. All the controls got mashed together to the point where they overlap, and you can't even start the thing. Finally, there's an app called Apollo, which is a Pandora interface that we presume would be perfectly usable on the playbook, but here again, it's pretty much unusable. The owl mark gets shifted way off to the right of the screen, as does the play and pause button. To get access to them, you have to tilt the landscape, but even then, all the buttons are stacked up on top of each other and hard to see. This will be a very real problem for users of BlackBerry 10 and owners of the Z10. A lot of the applications they download are simply not going to look very good or simply not work at all. Overall, we're left with mixed feelings about the BlackBerry Z10 and the BlackBerry 10 operating system as a whole. While the phone itself is nice in most regards, it certainly isn't a standout compared to the Galaxy S3 the iPhone 5, or any of the other top-shelf devices on other platforms. And while the BlackBerry 10 operating system provides a nice user interface, and the peak gesture and other things like that will certainly be loved by productivity hounds, it too isn't exactly offering a whole lot to pull people away from Android and iOS, or even Windows Phone for that matter. And certainly with such a limited app selection to begin with, that's not really giving it a lot of ammunition. Will BlackBerry holdouts love this new operating system? We think so. But does it have enough to capture the hearts and minds of iOS or Android users? That we're not so sure about. Again, this is the BlackBerry Z10 and the BlackBerry 10 operating system from Rick.